Welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving deep into the world of statistics. Yes, you heard it right. We're going to embark on an exciting journey exploring two key statistical concepts, correlation and regression. Now you might have heard these terms before, perhaps in your statistics class or maybe in a research paper. But have you ever wondered what they really mean? Or when should you use one over the other? Well, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll dissect these concepts, understand their rationales, and learn how to apply them effectively. So buckle up and let's start this captivating journey with the correlation design. First up, we have the correlation design, a fascinating approach to understanding relationships between variables. Picture this, you have two variables, let's call them X and Y. Now, these two might have a connection, a relationship of sorts. This is where the correlation design comes into play. It allows us to gauge the direction, magnitude, and strength of this relationship. You may have seen scatter plots or correlation coefficient graphs before. These are visual aids often used in this design. The strength of the relationship is measured by something called a correlation coefficient, which ranges from negative one to positive one. So in a nutshell, Correlation design helps us understand the connection between variables. Now you might wonder when a correlational study is the right choice. Let's delve into this. One reason to select a correlational design is when there are no prior studies that have explored your specific research topic. It can serve as a starting point to uncover relationships between variables. Another rationale is when existing studies show inconsistent findings. This could mean they have positive or negative correlations, significant or non-significant results, or varying effect sizes. Lastly, you might consider a correlational study when existing studies are limited by small sample sizes or were conducted in different settings than your own. These are just some of the reasons why a researcher might decide to use a correlational study design. Next, we take a look at regression. This design focuses on predicting outcomes and understanding causal relationships. Unlike correlation, which merely identifies a relationship, regression takes it a step further. It quantifies the nature of the relationship between a set of variables. Picture this. You're trying to predict a key response variable, let's call it Y, from a set of predictor variables, X. Here's where regression models, such as simple linear regression, come into play. They provide you with an equation, a mathematical formula, that allows you to predict Y based on X. It's almost like having a crystal ball that gives you a peek into the future. So regression design, in essence, helps us predict outcomes based on the variables at hand. When should you consider a regression study? Let's explore the rationales. First off, if there are significant correlations between independent and dependent variables in your research, a regression study might be the way to go. This design is ideal for exploring these relationships in depth and making accurate predictions. Secondly, let's say there are existing studies, but they were conducted in different settings. Here, a regression study design can be used to replicate the study in a new context potentially providing fresh insights or, or confirming the earlier findings. These are some of the reasons why a researcher might decide to use a regression study design. 